Welcome to the nightclub guys. It's your host the night rancher super quick video today um, I have my heart broken and I feel like you guys need to know this before you decide to modify your Dana 44s uh, Before you buy your gear sets um, Make sure what gear sets came in your Dana 44 before you buy them um, I had no idea this was a thing especially because I did change the gears on my uh, 8.8 .8 and there was nothing that had anything to do with it so for the Dana 44s what will happen if you're switching from a carrier you like your original axle the carrier in that axle if the carrier number was 373 or lower originally when you install the new gear set of 410 and higher you're going to need to uh, get yourself a set of gears that are what they call thick gears. So we've got the standard gears like I bought. And then we've got a set of thick gears that are probably this much. I, I don't know how much thicker they are, but they are significantly thicker. So what ends up happening if you don't buy the thick gears and you install them in the wrong axle, uh, the wrong carrier, I should say, uh, you're going to try to install them and you're going to install your pinion and they're not going to have any kind of contact whatsoever i tried installing shims all on one side to bring the carrier closer but it only gets to a point and then it's just impossible there's no way to get it close enough to get good contact surface the only thing i can do now is order the correct um, ring gear and just kind of like eat it i guess so another 200 bucks down the drain the install kit that i have is going to continue to work but now i'm going to need to get the correct set of gears um, and I really wish I would have known this beforehand. So before you guys go ahead and change the gear set, do keep in mind what gear set is in it right now, if it's a Dana 44. If your factory differential came with 373 gears or lower, as in 325s, 355s, 309s, anything lower than 373s, and you decide to go higher, 410, 456, you're going to need to buy a set of thick gears to replace your thinner gears because your carrier is going to be set up in the wrong location. If your current stock carrier comes with 410s, 456s, 488s, you're going to need to go ahead and order standard gears for your carrier because it's already moved forward. And then you're going to need to install a standard thickness ring and pinion. That's all I've got for today. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Rancher, out.